my fault and my condition Can't need spell, I'm conversating repetition Unified reality that I'm not in this division In a backseat conversating winnings Trust if you got Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's me, Shabri. I'm coming to you all today with an updated foundation routine video. I switched up quite a bit in the way I do my foundation, so I wanted to update you guys on it. Right now, what I'm doing is to start out by moisturizing my skin. I'm using the Kills Creme de la Gants, uh, moisturizer. I'm going in next with a alcone sponge and I'm applying my foundation. I did use the Black Opal um, True Color Stick Foundation. I'll have everything that I use listed below in my description box as well, but I'm just applying this in a stippling motion um, just to each side of my face until I get the desired coverage that I like. Now this moisturizer as well as the foundation that I'm using, they're both really emollient so they do have like a oily or shiny type of feel so I am going to go over that with my beauty blender to sort of press the foundation into my skin. Um, that way it can look more skin like. Now I am going to go ahead and highlight my face. I'm also using a black opal foundation just in a lighter shade and I'm applying that directly under my eye. I'm not taking it all the way out to my ear like I would normally do. Just focusing it right underneath my eye. I'm going to also apply those to the other parts of my face like my chin and then the center of my forehead and also down the bridge of my nose. Now I am using the alcohol sponge to lay the concealer but to actually blend it out I am going to go back in with my beauty blender and definitely blend everything out making sure to focus on the edges of that foundation also that way it all blends together and you know you don't really see that line of demarcation so that's what I'm doing here I'm basically just blending everything out and just a few things that actually change with my foundation routine are the brushes or the tools that I use as well as the products I just feel like this gives me a more skin like finish I'm going to go ahead and take away some of that dewiness on my face. I'm just using a Kleenex um, tissue and I am blotting that away. I'm going to set my under eye using the YSL um, Delaclat Souffle Setting Powder, I believe, as well as a mix of the Dermablend Translucent Powder. I'm just pressing this into my skin so I don't bake anymore. I pretty much just set my highlighted areas. So go in and contour or bronze my skin. I'm using my AJ Crimson Foundation on the two darkest shades in my kit. And I'm just using like a really um, kind of large stippling brush to blend that down into my highlight. That way everything can transition as smoothly as possible. I'm going to go ahead and contour my jawline as well or my um, contour area, my cheek area um, to sort of snatch my face even more. And again, I am going to go ahead and just run a Kleenex wipe along that to take away any dewiness before I set it. I am setting my entire face with the Dermablend Translucent Powder. I don't set my um, face anymore with pressed powder, so I do want to mention that. I am trying this loose setting powder just to see um, how it looks, and I like it so far. I'm going to go ahead and set my contour or bronze areas with my Fashion Fair pressed powder in the shade Sable. I'm using a MAC 150 brush to do this. And just to kind of clean up the areas and kind of get rid of the line of demarcation, I'm just going over my highlighted areas with a pressed powder by Iman. I'm going to add some blush. I mixed a few blushes here, but I'm just adding those to the apples of my cheek. Once I've applied my blush, I do go in to um, set my face with MAC Fix Plus Spray. Uh, from here, I am going to highlight. Um, this highlighter I listed below in my description box. I can't think of the name. Um, right off the top of my head, but I'm just applying this with a fan brush to the high points of my cheek The button part of my nose and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well um, I also sprayed my face with final seal spray by Ben Knight off camera, but this is the final look ladies I wanted to come and show you guys my updated foundation routine and the different products that I use to achieve this timeless makeup that can really transition anywhere from bridal to your everyday life it just gives a really nice skin like finish so i hope you ladies like this please thumbs up the video for more makeup videos and until my next video i will see you all later bye